We're here to talk about Organic 3.0. What is it? It's the third phase of the global organic movement. Organic is not something that is finished. We can always do better. And the whole concept of Organic 3.0 is how can we make organic a far more sustainable system. We want to ensure that we have a culture of innovation, of continuous improvement, so that we can always do better. We want to bring in diversity. There's no one organic. We need diverse systems. We have a global north, we have a global south, we have lots of different climates, lots of different cultures. We need to make organics that are relevant to all of these people, but also bring diversity into the production systems. Now, one of the arguments against organic agriculture is the fact that organic agriculture cannot feed the world. That you can't produce enough. And moreover, the need to feed the world is always a justification to say we need to produce more in Western countries. And therefore, we need the technology that we're using today. There is a lot of countries and regions and areas of land in which the production, the productivity, is below two tons per hectare. They represent 15%. The average yield in, that, in those regions is 1.3, which means it's a very low yield and it's quite easy to double. This is what we call a low-hanging fruit. And the reason why we have not done this yet is because the technology that we're trying to propose to those farmers are not adequate for those systems. How can we scale up sustainability? How can we use this organic laboratory of change to scale up sustainability and to get the rest of the world? We need technology, biotechnology. It's a dirty word, but organic farming in the sense that we need research and development, we need to improve techniques of farming, breeding, and processing. The second is we need to cooperate with certifiers and other sustainability actors who scale up to move out of that niche. And finally, he said, we need to be realistic about true cost accounting. If we establish the real costs of farming, and if we establish the cost of all these externalities that are kept out of the equation when we sell conventional product, if we start being more creative about this, if we start measuring, communicating, and also selling these values, then that could be a next step to create a more level playing field in a market so people realize that organic is not too expensive, but conventional is too cheap. So, how continuous improvement to throw our best practice? Uh, first of all, as already said, to uh, externalize the impact. So we have to find a good way to put the cheap cost of conventional in a evidence. This is the first thing. The second thing is to uh, strengthen local organic production, to strengthen the identity of organic farming and encourage uh, regional diets. So not to have a global diet, but uh, to have a good uh, agronomic, uh, good uh, specific uh, variety. Not, uh, not GMO is a solution for somebody that thinks that we have to find one uh, gene for all problems around the world. We think in the other way around, so local solution. Um, more participation, more critical, like we are doing today. This is a very good opportunity for the movement to discuss and to rethink. Um, implement social goals and, and so cooperation networks, food community. Um, develop, the, implement agroecological practice that are already there, so to find good way to transfer to, not transfer I don't like because it seems a top down, but let's say to learn each other, not to learn, to build a, a community and to promote uh, uh, diversity. And the example that uh, iPhone is, is doing, so the, uh, the SOA network is a very, very uh, good example, shifting from minimum requirement to a system thinking, to a uh, best practice approach. So, obviously, we, want, we need more innovation in organic farming system. So, nature is not programmed to feed 7 billion people, nor 10 billion people. We need innovation in organic farming as well. 
nature does not need innovation. We need it, uh, human beings. And uh, for me, one vision uh, of Organic 3.0 could be the intelligent and responsible-minded use of technologies. So combining the, all the, the good things of Organic, rotation, system approach, recycling, and so on with selected best technologies but in a responsible minded way. So to the right side, this is stupid use of technology. Huge fields, monocrop, uh, monocultures, soil erosion, soil degradation, and this is a clever use of technologies. Biodiversity, uh, you protect the soil, and, uh, and uh, you, are, you have healthy crops because you grow them close together.